So we are back once again, and finally I'm doing another pack opening. I swear I haven't done one of these for ages, but my reason for it is 2K actually put out a promo thing for me. Sometimes they do this, they give you 50% off packs for like 30 minutes. It's not the game breaker packs though for some weird reason, I don't know why but it is the Throwback Thursday packs and that's the ones I'm gonna do today. I've already bought one of the diamonds because I wasn't expecting to do this. His name's Wes Unseld and he looks like an absolute beast. If he wasn't six foot seven, by far the best card in the game. He's got five Hall of Fame badges. I haven't played with him yet. I've put him at power forward, but I will get a gameplay out. Hopefully we can pull him though, because he goes for more. The other diamond is this Mark Aguirre. I don't really know how to say his name. I apologize, but if we pull him, I'll be cool with it. So anyway, let's get into this box, 75,000 VC, which I'm so happy with because I was sort of thinking I wanted to do one of these boxes. We get the topper first, which is a Sapphire. They're all, they always seem like Sapphires now. Richard Hamilton, I remember that card used to be pretty good back in the day. Um, and what are we getting in the first real pack? Nothing much. I'm also sort of running low on MT right now, so I'm hopefully gonna get some contracts and that type of stuff so I don't have to buy them. You got the OVO shoes there, maybe that's a good sign for this next pack. I'm feeling it, reveal all, nothing. All right, still nothing. We like haven't even got a gold player or anything. We get a good badge there, I guess that's what I gotta look at. And next pack up, yo, these are looking pretty dry. We get a gold Mavericks player, which is good, and we get two pretty good badges, so there's the positive side to it. Next pack up, a third of the way through this box. Get an emerald. You gotta remember though, when you see those gems, there's actually a chance of another diamond or something in the pack. And it's an alright, it's a Mavericks player. 8 out of 21. What are we getting? Yeah, I'm sort of expecting a diamond. So every time I'm going through, I'm sort of like, oh wait, is it a diamond? But not in this pack. 9 out of 21. Still nothing. I'm feeling it this pack. I'm feeling it. I don't know why. It's all silvers though, and the player is Paul Pierce. Come on, come on. They're dry. <laughs> I was actually really expecting these packs to be super good because the amount of good pack openings I've seen to make me want to do this is a lot. Come on, come on. Wow, 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 wow. We've only got seven packs left, and I've seen in almost every pack opening I've watched someone pull a diamond. I've seen in some... Okay, we get a ruby. I'm happy with that. Like, I don't think these rubies go for that much, but in throwback packs, they're like the best things you can get. Larry Hughes, I'll have to see how much he goes for. Hopefully that reaction was okay. I feel like it'll only go for like 10k because of the collection reward is Earl Monroe, who in my opinion doesn't look that good. You know, maybe at the end of the box they decide to give me something good. Maybe, maybe that's what I'm expecting. I've only got three packs left for 2K to shine and give me something good. James Harden, come on, come on 2K. Another Emerald in the same spot, Chris Paul this time. Um, Another Ruby, I mean that's two Rubies. Imagine if this was at the start of the year. I would be going crazy, but Rubies don't really go for much now, so Larry Hughes again, I really want to see how much he goes for now. And now this is going to be the last pack. Are we disappointed if this next card isn't a diamond? Disappointed Angus is in the house. We might get a, yeah, we get another emerald from the Mavs, but I was expecting better to be honest. So yeah, I mean, these are the duplicates we got. N not amazing to be honest. Now for... The mo- the- I don't even know what the word is, but how much is he going for? Okay, I'm- I'm actually happy with that pull. I just made about 40k off this pack opening, which- this ruby is actually better than the Mark Aguirre, or however you say his name, because they- well, they basically go for the same amount, so I'm gonna put both of them up right now, and hopefully get 40k. Okay, so they're both up now for 19,950 MT, and hopefully that'll give me about 40,000 MT when they sell. And I mean, I'm fine with the pack opening. 
I bought this Wes, so I'm not too mad about it. I will get some gameplay with him because he looks absolutely insane. And to put him at power forward, I don't see a problem with his height, but I haven't played with him yet, so I can't really have a full opinion on him. I got a few Mavericks players too. Hopefully these guys can go for a, a little chunk of MT. And I only got these two Wizards players. I'll actually see how much they go for because I sort of want to know. Okay, so I'll finally now put them all up on the auction. We can see this Brendan Haywood goes for 3,200. This Cedric actually goes for 6,800. So that was a good pull, especially how I got two of him. Ian Mahimi, not much. Nick Van Exel, still not much. And, um, but I was pretty happy with Larry Hughes. Richard Hamilton only goes for 2,100. But, I mean, this Larry Hughes does go for 20k. So that's sort of added it up and made me get about 60k from this pack opening if i sold absolutely everything i could get a lot more but i'm not really that bothered on it but thank you guys for watching make sure to leave a like if you want to see some gameplay with this team i'm so excited for this team i reckon it looks so good but anyway guys i'll catch you on my next video i hope you enjoyed bye